hello everybody in this video I am going to show how you can transfer data from one server to another server so here you can see I have a one server in right here and another server is over here the SQL server so think about this server is is somewhere in a different place different country and it has a production server it's a production database over here under this production database think about we have a three different sales tables okay this three different sales data set we are combine these three data sets to make a one data set and that would be transferred to the different SQL server that would be right in this server over here all right so what are you going to put it over here under the data warehouse database we are create that uh, tables and put it over here combine this three cells data into this data warehouse database all right so how we can do that in the help of ETL process we can do that so in this case we'll take the Visual Studio and under the Visual Studio we have ETL process uh, the SSIS tools SSIS is SQL server integration service okay so over here I already create the design over here as you can see this is the one is 2015 data source which is connecting uh, to the data set I show you right here you can see that is coming from here 2015 16 and 17 this three data set is 2015 16 and 17 so these three data set we are combining to using the union all okay union all and these are our source data okay then we are putting that data to the our destination in a data warehouse server which would be uh, one tables one data set we can give the different name for this one so it is not connected yet so we are edit this use the connection string over here see the server name and data warehouse that database name so over here we have to create a new tables over here we can give a name for these tables so we can set total cells this is the table and column is automatically created from those column we have in 2015 16 and 17 data sets so it's okay so it is created that so now you can see is mapping so here you can see our source data coming all the column over here and then our destination column over here all right so now you can see the total cells over here now if I just run it it will combine all this data is going to do the union all and going to go to the different data different server in a database data warehouse it will come right here let me show you it will come let's see is there any issue over here okay so look like this is this table is not there so we have to create the new table here okay and we have to give the name here new name okay we can give the name sales table all right so you say okay so now if you go mapping you can see our source our destination okay and then our destination would be the different database and the name would be the sales tables okay so if you see view existing you can only see the column name over here our destination there is no data right now so so this is our source and this is our destination and these are the connection manager also over here 
all right so if I run this data start running this all right now what you can see over here is running from the three different data sets 2015 16 and 17 and going through the union hall and bringing 56046 rows the name is total sales the different server let me show you let me stop this one first okay so it is stopped so we have the another data set this is the data warehouse uh, we created data warehouse over here in this SQL server so if I right click over here first let's open it you can see all the table over here so refresh it open the tables you should be able to see the sales table the one we just created and transfer the data over here so now if you right click and thousand and make it okay so run it now you will be able to see see right now if you look at the right side corner 56046 rows was transferred through the ETL process from the one server from 2019 server to bring it to the another server which is 2014 server actually so here is just created the one big table combining with all that data set using the union all all right so I hope you understand this process how we can transfer data from one source to another destination all right so this is the process I will also show in our next video how exactly I have done this uh, design uh, which I will show in our next video so I'm going to finish right now for this video thank you thank you for watching